Are you clear? Are you feeling red, purple? Are you blue? Or are you clear again? What are you feeling right now? Green with envy? Quarantine meditation. COVID-19. Let's name this one. Hello everybody, this is my COVID-19 meditation at home and chill. I just thought I'd come in for a few minutes and see how everybody is doing. I have a diffuser that is has a um, little smoke in it. It's right here. You can see it. The smoke's coming out. So it's got some eucalyptus oil in there. You can see that smoke. And I'm just I'm just trying to make the most and the best of this quarantine at home or wherever, wherever you are in this part of the world. My diffuser changes color, so it's going through its changes. It's green now. So, this is a COVID-19 meditation at home. I have some eucalyptus oil in there. I ran out of my... No. Yeah, eucalyptus oil in it. I ran out of my... Lavender, I missed that. Hello. Hello. Just chilling with my diffuser at home, meditating. I don't know. Just using this time to think about some things at home. I notice a lot of people are going live. Uh, from wherever uh, people are taking advantage of 
some opportunities of income for themselves. I watched a Facebook friend of mine live and he helps people get event spaces. I was thinking about doing that once all this is over. Um, just hosting events for people. Um, smoke coming out pretty good on this diffuser that I have and just meditating thinking on some things thinking what I can do better with my business with myself mainly myself because we're all getting older we're not getting younger and thinking about uh, all the people that have passed on during this uh, epidemic, um, on the side of caution too, I'm hoping that everybody is just staying home if you don't have to go anywhere, you know. If you don't have to go anywhere, don't go. And it's an opportunity to get everybody in the house to kind of you know chip in and help out and do some things in the house you can get some spring cleaning done early you know so I wish you guys could smell, if you know, of course, everyone knows what eucalyptus smells like. Uh, got some oil in my diffuser, so. It's, hello, Mr. Peacock, thanks for joining in. We're having some meditation, COVID-19 at home, and breathing in some eucalyptus oil. Just chilling. Hi, how are you? Just chilling at home. Yep. I took a nice brisk walk today. I'm walking every day, so then exercise Ooh, at home and whatnot. Then um you know, packing boxes and stuff, because moving, and I've been where I'm at. I stay in a townhouse, so it's like having a house, so I'm going to convert to the one-bedroom thing, you know, having this uh, townhouse is like having a house. Strangely enough, I want to get a house. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I like the way this uh, diffuser changes colors. I like that. So you guys are experiencing what I'm experiencing. Yeah, moving's going well. I'm packing things, throwing things away, giving stuff away. Just waiting on some places to call me. Um, just let me know. Uh, I have uh, some people that'll... Uh, that could possibly, if I'm not able to get the keys, they get the keys for me. And I'll be okay. I'll be a little closer to a few family members in Florida and um, 
the small safe? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, that, that I'm gonna have on my hip. <laughs> I'm gonna have that on, <laughs> on my hip. <laughs> I'll have that on my hip. <laughs> yeah, shoot, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Shoot, you, I watched a, a live uh, on YouTube. There's this YouTuber called Walter Hampton II. And he's a bodybuilder, of course, but still, regardless of all of that, I, I watch it because of the funny commentary. I watch a lot of different people. I mean, heck, I got Netflix, a uh, bunch of other apps on my tablet. Uh, so, mm. But uh, he mentioned and said that you're really going to find out who... Your friends are doing this epidemic. And I'm starting to see that. I really am. I mean, you know, I mean, I understand everybody else has their way to think about themselves, you know, but I mean, mm -hmm. I'm really trying to see what's going on with some people's mind and then the governor in um, uh, the state of Georgia oh my god I can't believe he even did that he okayed it for people to go to the beach Florida and some other states had to shut the beaches down because the people that were there they were having cases of people getting sick and then watching other uh live streams on YouTube and uh I just I don't understand it. Uh, the virus has probably been over here and mind you I didn't travel twice. But thank God I'm not feeling I mean I'm not feeling anything. I haven't. I mean I've been protecting myself wearing my mask and stuff. And uh I have allergies. They say it's, the virus is just like an allergy. Uh, what? Um, there's a post on a friend of mine's Instagram saying that the government knew that the virus was already here. And, of course, possibility that Trump knew, but, I mean, because people were finding stuff out then. Uh, there's a nurse in Atlanta, Georgia, that quit her job because her co-workers, co which was her lead supervisor, pretty much to me, in my eyes, kind of set her up. To be around a patient that was sick and didn't tell her? I'm like, wow. And then she's a uh, cancer, a breast cancer survivor. So she, you know, I mean, and this lady is risking her life. So you don't care about another co-worker's life? Oh, I mean... <laughs> So it's really, people say, oh, whoa, oh, they can't do this to us. They they won't do this. Oh, yes, they will do it to you. They've been doing doing things, and I, they really, it makes you question the people that you vote for and just a lot of things and what you put your faith in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who you put your faith in. What you put your faith in. Well, we all need help and blah, blah, blah. How about you help yourself? There's nothing wrong with self-preservation. Doing it yourself. 
Hello, Andre Crowder. How you doing? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with helping yourself. And if you know anybody that's going through this, like I said, my my girlfriend's um, daughter came by yesterday. She works at a uh, supermarket chain and brought some few things over. So for me. I was going to go out and get them, but she was nice enough to bring them over, and then I, you know, gave her a couple of dollars for bringing it. So, I appreciate that. She didn't have to do that, but she did. So. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, I'm just, you know, thinking on some things, and thanking the Creator for my health. This fight, uh, they say it does, the virus does attack people that are with diabetes, uh, lung issues. Yeah, people are out right now, they shouldn't be, and, uh, they telling you if you do have to go out, you should wear a mask. I've been seeing a lot of videos. I've been starting me a... I've been, um... I might, uh, do a video on... How to make the mask. And believe it or not... <laughs> believe it or not, you can make a mask. So, you know, if you got any... If any of guys, uh, listening to this... If you got any female friends and they got a... <laughs> A bra laying around. You guys can participate in making face masks uh, together. His and hers. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you could do that. That would be nice. But other than that, I'm thinking about doing that myself. And then, uh, there, uh, like I said, there's an Instagram friend of mine. He's got the different textures and the percentage rate of how effective each piece of cloth is when you make these homemade masks. They're called DIY masks. We're <laughs> using rags. Well, my Instagram friend has Oh, wow, three layers? Hmm. I'm going to have to go watch it. Steal some ideas. Patent it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and though everybody's been making masks, so it's, not, it's nothing I could really do to really duplicate that. You know, unless I put something different. I even almost ordered some. Ordered some off of wish.com. And then I thought about it. After I saw some videos um of people that's a lot of videos on how to make them so I'm like hey I'll do one. I'll make a um a how to on how to make these masks. You know, I have editing software on my tablet, on my iPhone, and on my uh laptop. So yeah. Mm. And they're washable too, so yeah, they're washable. Yeah. I just feel bad. I feel sorry for the people that uh that pass. Uh I wish that America acted a little more sooner than they did. 
on the precautions about this. Yeah. All right, I appreciate you doing that. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So, hey, any old t-shirt will do. Pair of pants, whatever. I'm like, what? Let me tell you, I got a bunch of clothes in my garage. I went diving through them bags. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I can use this for a mask. I can use this for a mask. And I have the material. Sewing needle. Elastic band. You know. Yeah. I got that stuff. But, yeah. Yep. So... Yeah. Um, just another reminder to everybody, anybody watching, if you're living in the affected areas, which pretty much every state now is affected, to write your city council uh, people, members, governors, everybody, call them and let them know. Uh, what's going on and how you feel about this and find out what they're doing now this is the time where you can call them I know Rashida Tlaib was very great and adamant about uh, calling back from Washington DC she's a Detroit native here she's our senator and uh, she has five or six, I believe, five resource centers here in the city of Detroit where city residents can get some help with issues and things. Although the offices are down, she has uh, phone numbers for each center for everyone to call and get uh, assistance. I have uh, some resources because I do uh, advocacy work here in the city of Detroit with uh, housing issues, transportation, water, uh, especially the water issue that was in Flint now in Detroit, supposedly. Now I'm just thinking about how all these big old buildings and high rent they were is messing up their economy. They're going to have to reduce those rents or something. Nobody's going to be able to afford them for a long time. Now, what type of housing will they be? What will you turn them into? You'll have to end up turning them into low-income housing because they're, the places are too pricey. So, I don't know. Yeah, so, I don't know. But, okay, I just wanted to come through for just a little second. Just a little second. This is my... This is my COVID-19 meditation at home with my diffuser and eucalyptus oil. Signing off, chilling. If I go take a walk tomorrow, which I probably will, just to get out the house and wear me mask, I will live with you guys again. Yeah. All right. What's ever going on in your corner of the world? Be good to each other, be good to yourself, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, check on your loved ones. Alright, talk to you later.